recently, reported by Defense24.pl, Poland has submitted price and availability lore regarding the armament for the 5th Gen F-35 fighter jets, Defense24.pl found out off the record. This has not been confirmed by the armament agency, stating that the equipment is being procured in an ongoing manner, also cross-compliant with the F-16. At the same time, the agency has not denied the fact that a request as such was submitted. Defense24.pl found out off the record that the Polish authorities have submitted a letter of request for price and availability, Lor P. Day, to the U.S. authorities regarding a weapons package for the F-35 MRCA, procured within the framework of the Harpia program. The information on Lor P. Day submission was neither confirmed nor denied by the armament agency. The spokesperson for the agency, Lt. Col. Krzysztof Batek, told us the following, I hereby inform that weapons destined for the aircraft that are operated and planned to be commissioned in the Polish Air Force are all being procured in an ongoing manner, in line with confidential planning documents remaining in force at the Polish MOD. One shall also stress the fact that the F-35A jets would, to a broad extent, utilize weapons identical to the F-16 Block 52+. Therefore, as Lt. Col. Patek said, the F-35A of the Polish Air Force will be capable of using a broad spectrum of weapons that Poland has at its disposal. These include AIM-120 C5 and C7 AMRAMs and AIM-9X Sidewinders in the air-to-air -air department, along with AM-154 CJSOW, JDAM, and Paveway air-to-ground weapons. In practical terms, however, procurement of new-generation fighter aircraft shall also naturally entail an acquisition of a weapons package. Looking at that in comparison to other countries, that may refer to upgraded variants of legacy weapons, such as the AIM-120D AMRAM, becoming more and more common acquisition among the F-35 user group. Poland may also be interested in air-to-ground weapons designed for the fifth-generation fighter weapons base, so that no stealth characteristics are lost, this includes SDB-2 bombs or AARGM or anti-radiation missiles. Poland was already expressing its interest in those back in 2018. It is also possible that European armament could be procured for the F-35, such as the Azra Meteor air-to-air -air missiles or Spear air-to-surface missiles. Earlier, Poland concluded its fighter acquisition program with the signing of a letter of offer and acceptance LOA, between the U.S. and Polish governments on January 31, 2020. For 32 F-35A conventional takeoff and landing CTOL, variant jets with initial deliveries beginning in 2024 and in-country deliveries in 2026. Over the course of little more than a year, the F-35 has either triumphed or been announced as the preferred choice in four European fighter programs. In 2021, the aircraft was selected by landlocked Switzerland to replace its F-A-18 fighters, with Finland following suit at the end of the year in what was a straight shoot between the F-35 and Saab S. Gripeny earlier in 2022, Germany also announced it would seek to buy the F-35 in a noticeable win for US manufacturer Lockheed Martin. In 2020, Poland also selected the F-35, joining Belgium, Denmark, Italy, the Netherlands, Norway, and the UK as either existing or planned operators of either the conventional takeoff and landing F-35A or the short takeoff, vertical landing, STOVL, F-35B. With the Polish government's selection of the F-35A, Poland becomes the 14th nation and 10th NATO country to join the F-35 program of record. 
The selection, building off Lockheed Martin's strong, proven track record in Poland, is a testament to the nation's confidence in the F-35 to meet its national security decades to come. The F-35 has emerged victorious as every single fighter competition it has entered, little surprise given that it is currently the only Western fifth-generation platform on the market. With hundreds of aircraft already delivered to operators around the world and thousands more on order, economies of scale are also a factor for countries that might not be able to acquire such capabilities were it not the case. Another factor to consider is that lot 15 to 17 of the F-35 build program, which will begin to deliver in the second half of the decade, will incorporate some elements of the Block 4 upgrade to the F-35, the point at which much of the fifth-generation sensor and weapons capability designed into the platform will be unlocked. The F-35 Lightning II will represent a highly competitive aircraft even in 2040, whereas the so-called 4-plus generation of fighters will have become obsolete by then. In addition, the F-35 is not just a fighter, it provides an aerial capability combining a fighter, air defense element, as well as cutting-edge surveillance and command, control and communication center, and is able to perform missions that are completely outside the capabilities of the current aircraft, Czech Chief of General Staff Major General Karol Zeka stated. Where does this leave Europe's fourth-generation offerings? Platforms such as the Gripen, Dassault's Rafale and the pan-continental Eurofighter retain considerable market share, particularly the latter two platforms. However, each of these European fighters has been defeated by the F-35 in open competition and not once emerged victorious when pitted against their US rival.